Hello, I'm Tiffany and welcome to my channel. I recently found out Zara make cleaning products and of course I had to try them out, so today I'm going to be reviewing the two products that I bought. Starting with the multi-surface cleaner which retails for £8, I'm going to be cleaning my kitchen cabinets. We had a very big cooking and canning session on the weekend so my doors are especially dirty. One of the first things I noticed is the child safety lock, which I honestly didn't think Zara would think about, so I am pleasantly surprised, and if you're a parent or a pet parent like me, this is a nice touch, expensive chemicals are still chemicals at the end of the day. The product is very ergonomic, it feels nice to hold, and the spray comes out quite easily with little to no dribble. I immediately noticed that the scent is very strong. The combination of lemon and ginger gives a very lemongrassy scent, which if you like that, that's good, but if not, then you probably aren't going to enjoy this product. However, I do really enjoy the fact that it doesn't smell like a typical cleaning product, which just elevates the whole cleaning experience in general. To me, this product feels like a room perfume and cleaner in one, which I think is a very nice touch. It doesn't really foam as well, so if you're someone that enjoys the sensory sensation of foam and bubbles, then this is definitely not for you. But bubbles and foam don't necessarily make a good cleaning product. The one thing I can say I definitely don't like is the atomizer. It creates a very fine particle spray, which gets sprayed fairly wide, which does two things. One, you aren't able to be precise in where you want the product to go, so you can't put the cleaner exactly where you want it. Two, because the spray particles are so fine, some of them float around in the air, which can overwhelm you with fragrance and you can also end up inhaling a lot of the cleaner if you're not careful. All in all, it is a good product though and did a very good job of cleaning my cabinets. Next, we have the fabric water, which also retails for £8, but comes in a very large one litre plastic bottle. The label says it will help to achieve easier ironing while infusing your clothes with their scent of white jasmine. I'm going to be testing it on a white t-shirt to see whether it lives up to these claims. I will be spraying one half of my very scrunched up white t-shirt here with the fabric water and leaving the other side blank. I was also careful about ironing an equal number of times on both sides to keep things fair. On first use, I will say that the ironing water does smell really, really nice. I can definitely verify that. I didn't go too crazy with the ironing, it's not my best skill, however on first glance it doesn't look like the fabric water has done very much, but looking closely I can see the side with ironing water does have slightly less wrinkles and smells really good. All in all, if you're a big fragrance and perfume person, you're really going to like this and I can imagine it working well in terms of layering with certain perfumes. A few Penhaligon's fragrances come to mind, so I would definitely recommend this. Thank you so much for watching this review. If you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up.